Schoology also has a built-in collaboration tool. So we go to Groups, and you see I don't have any. If I click on Join, it wants a code. We'll show you that in just a minute. So I find Public Groups. And here are a bunch of public groups that I could join. I definitely want Blended Learning and Schoology Educators, as well as Flipped Classroom. Now you can see that there are others that you might want to join, and people have their personal ones as well. Um, so there are a number out there. And these are school groups, which you would then create a group here, or my groups, you can create a group. And let's say I wanted to create one. So this is going to be science and ELA group. I'm making it up. It is for everyone, invite only. I'm going to allow requests though. And you could see how you could customize it here and create. So now here's my group. Here is the code and others could join it and there'd be members and we could hold discussions. We could have albums of like media albums and photo albums and we can share resources. This is very, very important. Let's look at the things we can do here. First are options, and we can have learning objectives. And then these are all the things that we can add. Assignment templates and quiz templates and files and links and discussion templates and pages and packages and rubrics and badges, question banks, copy from resources. This is absolutely huge on the information that you can share together. You might ask, well, if we add updates, where does that show up? Every time you go to home, this is where these things pop in. School educators are posting a lot. Looks like that's almost everything. There's Flip Classroom, and you could always load more. So it shows up in your dashboard in that middle section right there. I think that this has the potential of changing what we do and how we do it and how we get information. I think it's very, very powerful.